Say it back to me. Hello. That's better. Merry Christmas. Say it back to me. Come on, we have done this before. Merry Christmas. That's better. Ho ho ho. Say it back to. You know what, never mind. We are so glad you are with us today. Let's have some fun. Pull out your phone and turn on your light. If you have it, wave it in the air. Like you just don't care. Okay, stop. I don't care either. Clap once if you are paying attention. Lit. Get it? Lit? Because of Christmas lights? Okay, cool. 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 I am going to ask you a series of questions. If it applies to you, lift your glove in the air. Pretty simple stuff, even for the person on your right. Let's test it. Woo! Raise your glove, kid. You are excited for Christmas. See? Easy. Super lit. Okay, here we go. Let's see who we have here. I want to see who likes ham or turkey. Raise your glove, if you like. Ham. Turkey. Yellow. Both? Who doesn't eat meat and is somewhat offended by this question? Let us all bow our heads and pray for those people. <laughs> Raise your blind if you open some gifts on Christmas Eve. Cheaters. Raise it if you only open gifts on Christmas Day. The way Jesus would want it. Raise it if you ever got underwear or socks for Christmas. Like what is that? Who does that? Aunt Karen does that. That's who. Raise it if you have returned a gift the week after Christmas. Wow. Just a tad ungrateful, aren't we? Raise it if that person has ever asked you if you liked the gift and you like. Payback. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. Raise your blind if you don't like that knot. Raise if you do like that knot. What is wrong with you people? It tastes like milk mixed with cinnamon and dirt. Okay, this next one is really controversial. The question is who listens to Christmas music before or after Thanksgiving? Raise it if you listen to Christmas music only after Thanksgiving. Okay. Raise it if you listen to music before Thanksgiving. 2020. 
2020 is the way that it is because of you. Murder Hornets are released when we listen to Christmas music early. I am just kidding. No matter what you answered. We are just excited that you are here with us. Now let us get pumped up for what's up next. Clap twice if you are paying attention. Now raise your blinds in the air. Now go left to right with the beat. Everyone at the same time. Yikes. Some of you need help with rhythm. Look at what everyone else is doing and do that. Keep going. Oh yeah. You got it. We are so pumped you are here. Let's get going. Merry Christmas. All right. Hey, alive. How are you doing? Are you guys excited about Christmas? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right. So if you are, how many are here for the first time? You've never been to Alive before? Okay, there's a handful. All right. Um, how many of you, this is your first Christmas party in Alive? All right. You guys are in for a treat. Um, hey, all of you OGs, um, what do we always do here? What, I'm sorry, say it again. What, I'm sorry, one more time. Feliz Navidad. Come on, Feliz Sienna, Navidad. Sienna, sing this thing. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Sing it again. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Come on. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Here we go. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. Well done. So from our hearts to yours, Merry Christmas. We're really excited about this. So we're gonna take some time tonight to 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 worship, to have some fun, we'll have some games and all those kinds of things. And you may hear this song happen once or twice. Yeah. Twice. Three times. Perhaps. Four times. All right, like how about right now? Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. So that's just from us to you guys. All right, let's let's switch gears a little bit here. I've got. Uh, I wanted to just. I know you guys have probably heard this passage of scripture many times. But let's try to listen to it with fresh eyes. So from Luke chapter 2. And, this, and in the same region, there were shepherds in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, and if you know this, say it with me, glory to God in the highest 
and on earth peace Good. among whom those with whom he is pleased. Let's sing about angels we have heard on high. Keep up with us, guys. Keep up with us. Here we go. Here we go. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plain, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joy strings. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Do what? Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Prospero año y felicidad! Sing it again! Come on, it's Tim's favorite! Feliz Navidad! He wants you to sing this! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Prospero año y felicidad! I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas! I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Tim, it's all yours. All right, give it up for Tim. Yay, yeah, Timmy. Don't sin against me and do it again. It's your favorite song. This is the house of the Lord. And we only have. Feliz <laughs> Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Tim, it's all yours. <laughs> all right, Timmy. All right, everyone. I have a really important uh, person to introduce you to. His name is uh, Jeremiah Dew. Some of you might know him as Jeremiah. Some of you probably in the room know him better as Jay Dew. Woo! Give it up for my friend and your friend, Jeremiah. Yeah. You got a little game for us? I think they're more applauding that I'm not doing it and you're doing it. Can we just give it up for my friend one more time? All right, good evening, everybody. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Okay, we're going to play a little game, and I brought a couple of presents. Who wants to win T-shirts tonight? Yes, okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. So this is how it's going to work. First, only three of you are going to come up here to contestants row. This is... this. Is it, does this look like a row? Okay, great. This is contestants row, only three of you. Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Prospero año y felicidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! 
Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. All right, all right, all right. Give it up for Corinne and the whole team up there, the whole crew, the whole band. Love it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of Christmas questions for you. Everybody's in right now. I'm looking for the first person who can tell me the correct answer, and you make it to contestants row. I'm only taking three people. I'm only taking three, all right? So you know what else I see up here? I see some gift cards. I don't know. They're not, I, they're not for my game, but maybe... So maybe I'll give them away first, and then you can't play the ugly Christmas sweater game. Okay, so we have the ugly T-shirt game. Well, I have a feeling I know what this is, but I don't remember what these are. Okay, here it is. When you know the answer, or you think you know, and you're willing to look goofy in front of everybody by yelling it out and getting it wrong, you let us know. And if you're right, you'll make it up here to contestants row. If you got it, say, I got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is the first question. The first question is, how many years is it normally before your Christmas tree is ready to be cut down and taken home? Eight, Feliz no. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Keep yelling. Feliz Navidad. Go. What's it going to be? Feliz no. Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I think we had a correct answer here, perhaps. Tell us that guess one more time. 15. 15 is correct. Give her a round of applause. She's coming on down. Come on. Come on. All right, we have got contestant number one. Contestant number one. Contestant number two. All right, contestant number two. How many days before Christmas is the busiest Shopping day of the year. One, no. 25, no. Ten, you better be getting louder. Seven, no. Huh? 24, no. 10, no. No, no, no. Three, no. Three, no. Three, no. Four, no. Three, ten. I'm seeing fingers better than I'm hearing anything. No. What? Keep going. No, not Christmas Eve. No. Seven, no. No. Two. Come on, you can do better. Give me something. Christmas Day. No. Eighteen, I don't Zero. Know. Seven. Thirteen. No. Thirty. No. One hundred. I don't celebrate. Fifteen. No. Day after Thanksgiving. No. Black Friday, no. No. Three. Give me some time to think. Okay, well, okay, well, go ahead. You may think right now. If you have three seconds, one guess. How many days prior to Christmas is the busiest shopping day of the year for the contestants' row? Three. Uh, the fourth day of Christmas. No, no. All right. Aww. Keep going, keep going. I need somebody. Somebody surely has said it at this point, but I'm not hearing you. Twelve. Five, no. What? Two. Two, we've got it right here. Bring her down. Yes, come on. Come, I need another song. Let's go. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> no. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. On the bottom of my heart. All right, now, for the last couple of weeks, I've been called upon to do a couple Christmas parties for a lot of different types of groups. And some of these groups have lots of people in here who don't, in, in their groups, that don't necessarily um, celebrate Christmas. They want to make sure it's inclusive for everybody. So there's lots of different flavors and types of people. Name another holiday during this time some people celebrate. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. What, what else? Kwanzaa? Okay, very good. All right, that wasn't the question, but you guys have a lot of enthusiasm. Very good. Okay, so here is the question, and it is about... Oh, no, it's a two-part question. Okay, I'm going to ask a Kwanzaa question, pardon me, and a Hanukkah question at the same time. Okay? All right. So, it's 
Here's the question for the last spot on contestants row. The last spot is, oh, pardon, pardon. So many things happening. Oh, what happened here? Oh, we had an audible. Is that allowed? Two liters, right, right, okay. Okay, so here it is. It's how many days slash symbols are in the Kwanzaa celebration and how many are in the Hanukkah celebration? Okay, we had a lot of eights out there. We had a lot of eights, and eight is Hanukkah. How many in Kwanzaa? I got a seven from this young man in the front right here. Right here? Seven? Seven. Logan, come on up. Give it up for Logan, everybody. Logan, right here. Okay, so here we go. We're about ready. Okay, Lady, ladies and gentlemen, here is your buzzer right here. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to play a little game, and it is the Emoji Christmas Carol Quiz. What we're going to do is we're going to see a bunch of emojis on the big screen. Maybe, nope, just this one. Okay, we're going to see them about whatever emoji that is. What would you call it? What would you call that? They're moving fast up there. you got to be quick. Okay, here are our categories. They're all emojis, and when you see emojis that make sense for a Christmas carol, Logan, Logan. Out of all these people, how many of you wish you were up here? You wish you could win. You wish you were famous in front of everybody. Logan. Logan. Did you not say it? I thought I heard it from you. And Logan doesn't want to be. Logan, he loves Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. He hates Christmas. Logan, sit down. Sit down. He doesn't want to be up here. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I thought I heard it from this side. We have two ladies already, so I need one of the fellas. This guy? All right, bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, okay. Look, we're losing leaders left and right up here. Okay. Here we go. All right, tell us your names. Tell us your names and what grade you're in. Uh, Mason, I'm in 10th grade. Marietta, I'm in 9th grade. Kylie, I'm in 11th. All right, very good. We got all three. All right, team one, team two, and team three. Connor, you got it? Okay. So here are our categories. You see the, the flaky thing, the bell-looking thing, the crying-looking thing, and the Santa-looking thing. Those are our categories. Okay? We're going to start off in the cold category with the 100-point question. Most points wins. It's you versus you versus you. When you think you know, you ding in, and you have to give us our Christmas carol. Ready? Go. First one. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman is correct. Very good. 100 points. Very good. All right. You control the board, sir. All right. You are now... Oh, yeah. Team one. Okay. Click on it for us. There we go. What do you want now? Uh, let's go Snowflake 200. Snowflake 200. Let's do this. All right. Ding in when you know it. Yes. Cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. That is correct. All right. 200 points for you. You're in the lead. You control. Uh, Snowflake 300. Let's go three. Let's do this. All right, what is it? Whoa, 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 sir. Violence is not the... What happened? What happened? Okay. White Christmas. White Christmas is correct. Very good. All right, he's back on top. 400. What's next? Uh, let's go with uh, Santa 100. Santa 1. Let's do it. What is it? What is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who was in first? Who was in first? Santa baby. That is correct. For 100. Keep it up. Let's do this. What you got? All right, let's do, let's go easy again. Let's do the crying face 100. Crying face 100. Do it. Yes. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Yes, I didn't mean to punch you with the microphone. You see it? I hit her with the mic. Sorry. All right, very good. 300. Ma'am, ma'am, do you know the rules? Yeah. Are you going to play? I don't know what this is. Okay, you got to get in here. You got to be aggressive. This is like Christmas morning. You got to kick people over. Yeah! Okay, very good. What you got? Snowflake 400. Snowflake 4. Big money, big money. What is it? Yes. Yeah. Let it snow? Yeah! We got it. Very good. 400. You're on top now. What's that total? All right. Seven, five, and what? Did someone go with me? What are you talking about? What, no, why are you pointing at people? What do, do not argue with it. I'll make the rules here. You're supposed to work hard. All right, everybody, I'll block them. I'll run interference. What do you got? Uh, Santa 200. Santa 2. Hit the button. Hit it. Just hit it. Hit it. Come on. Hit it. Yes. What is it? Tell us. 
Come on. Three, two, one. I don't know what it is. Did you hit it next? I did. Santa's coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes. All right. You, you know what? You're out. You're out. Three strikes, you're out. Okay, bring her up. Somebody is going to win this game if I, we if we have to. Huh. All right. All right, tell us who you are. No. Nope. You have to. <laughs> you must. No. Did You You wanted to be up, but you got to get close to the bell. Anna Rose. Anna Rose. Very good. Tell us why you love Christmas. Oh no. not You don't know. Anna Rose, have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Anna Rose, pick someone. Pick someone. You have to pick. You have to pick. All right, come on. Come on. All right, very good. All right, you are way behind right now. No. Are you friends with Anna Rose? Yes. She hates Christmas. What's wrong with you? Oh, well, I think she likes Christmas. Oh, you think she does? Okay, you can do better than her? Uh, yeah. All right, very good. Your name? Evangeline Soy. Say it again? Evangeline Soy. All right, Evangeline, here we go. All right, um, where, who had it? You had it? Let's go. All right, let's go with uh, Bell 200. Bell 200. What is it? What is it? Yes, Evangeline. Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Rock. Yes. All right. Okay, we finally got somebody up here. We finally got somebody up here. All right. I was getting so nervous. Feliz Navidad. Let's see. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Let me hear you. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. All right, here we go. You're in control, Miss Elaine. Uh, Santa 300. Santa 3. Let's do this. Ready? Bell. Yes. I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. Yes. All right. 300. All right. You're in the lead. 1,000 points. Let's do this. There it is. Okay, tell us. Uh, Santa 400. Santa 4. Big money, big money, big money. No whammies. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? They don't know. You answer. I think it was. Yeah. You, they don't know. You answer. Uh, run, run, Rudolph. Run, run, Rudolph. Yes. We're giving it to you. 400. Okay, anybody's game. Take it. Bell 100. Bell 100. What is it? Oh, right here. Rudolph the Red Nose Ring. Yes. Got it. 100. Next. Uh, let's go with the Bell 300. Bell 3. Go. Yes. Silver Bell. Silver Bells. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Big money, no whammies. All right. <coughs> Tell us. Bell 400. Bell 4. Big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Yes. We're, oh, rocking around the Christmas tree. Rocking around the Christmas tree. This man cannot be stopped. We got Jack Frost up here just killing it. All right. What do you say? Two, three, or four? Uh, let's go two. Two. Yes. Drummer boy. Little drummer boy. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Let's look at these scores down here. 14, 6, and 13. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Well, you pick. You pick. 300. 300. Here it is. Hurry. Yes. Blue Christmas. Blue Christmas is correct. All right. All right. It is 1,400, 600. Oh. Uh, oh, my gosh. I didn't tell him to click it, and he did it. He was ready. You have two seconds. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh is incorrect. What do you say? What do you say? Uh... <laughs> Christmas. Uh. Christmas shoes. The first one to say it was right here. Team number three. Is it Christmas shoes for the win? For the win. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. The most beautiful part about that whole situation is that Christmas shoes by far is the worst song ever. And they didn't know what it was. So we've been doing our job by not teaching it to them. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our first place champion right here. Emoji Christmas carols. Second place right here. Started off real strong. And third place just taking over for the whole side over here. They couldn't do it. Third place. You pick first. What do you want? Second. This is for you. All right. Give them a big round of applause one more time. Turning things back over. 
to Tim, but maybe not. Go, go, hurry. Feliz Navidad. Woo! Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. I want to wish you. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. It's for you, Tim. <sighs> I will say the one redeeming factor of this last 20 minutes is my friend and your friend, Jeremiah Dew. Woo! I love that guy. I don't know if you guys know this. Me and uh, Jeremiah are in the same life group. Feliz Navidad. Woo! Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. As I was saying, me and Jeremiah, our families are in a life group together. He's a good friend. Thank you for being with us. I have another friend that I want to come up because we got some unfinished business to take care of, and that is uh, Josh McCarnan. Josh McCarnan, if you're in the house, oh uh, yeah, can you bring that up? We got a couple things that we need to do before we jump back into a time of singing. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. You got this. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. All right, we got three things that we got to do. The first is, uh, Josh, top three ugliest Christmas sweaters. Who you got? And if you're wearing a Christmas sweater, will you stand up and show everyone the beauty of the ugliness? Just for I like that one. He wants us to do it again! <laughs> Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas From the bottom of my heart Okay, do I need more juice? Is this loud enough? You need this? This is louder Is this louder? A little bit. A little yeah. bit? Thank yeah. you. Oh, now I'm hot. Mm. Feedback. Okay. I'm turning this off. Okay. Mm. I had two I had two runners up. Like uh well no honorable mention would probably be the, the best way to put it. <clears throat> Number one honorable mention uh is Evangeline Ruby. Uh <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, because it's a Michigan sweatshirt, so obviously. One of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Uh, number two, number two honorable mention is definitely Isabella with a Patriots sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, almost, almost threw up a little bit in my mouth. Just, just seeing it, just seeing it. Go okay. Patriots! <laughs> okay, now third place, third place goes to uh, Darius. Where's Darius? Right there. Come on up. And we've got we, over here. Yeah. And then um, second place went to Matthew because I liked his sweatshirt. Uh, sorry, he did a great job. He did a great job. I do like that one a lot. But it's not as ugly as I think. Number one for me is Jillian. Is it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Jill. Look at this sweater. It's amazing. Okay, so we, this is the right one, right? Huh? Yeah, these are the right ones. Yeah. Okay. Second and third. Okay, so second and third place. This is for you. This is for you. Now, just so you know, it's for ten dollars at Red Lobster. <laughs> and first place for you. That's twenty-five dollars to Regal Cinema. 
Hey, and then, Josh. Oh, for Josh, these guys, too. I think to celebrate these guys. What? Feliz Navidad. We also have t-shirts. Feliz Navidad. T-shirts. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart. Welcome. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what? I want to get on the, I like the next one. You don't look very excited to wear that. I, I, I didn't read what it said. It says, hurt people hurt people. <laughs> Kareen, hurt people hurt people. Oh, All right, nice. uh, can we give it up for our uh, winners of the ugly Christmas sweater competition? And then uh, Landon Sen, come on up. You got the clipboards? Bring them up. All right, here's what we're going to do. Don't do it. It's tempting. Don't do it. Or do we have one person? Yeah, we got to be three. Oh, while we're waiting. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> All right. What? what? Okay. We need, uh, should I just bring them all up here? All right. We have some more things we need to give away. Uh, raise your hand if you brought some canned food items. Hey! Woo! Well done. Uh, you are getting free dessert tonight. We're going to have... But Emily Fenstermaker gave everyone blue tickets. So everyone's getting free dessert. My budget says thank you, Emily, so much. So what Josh is going to do, Josh has uh, the three people that gave, excuse you, uh, that gave the most canned food items. And we want to bring those three people up without giving the, the total. Okay? Josh, who are those three people? Can I have Nathan and uh, Samuel Collins? <laughs> Nathan and Samuel done. Collins, come right up here. Come right up here. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Fruit of the Spirit is self-control, please. Oh, we need to do it. Sydney, start it. Here we go. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. All right, uh, Brady Snyder, come on up right here. And then, no, Ben Cronin. Oh, Ben Cronin. All right, so what we're gonna do is everyone's gonna do a little little drum roll right here. This is going to be for a free winter retreat spot with us in February to North Carolina. Josh, who got third place? The Collins! The Collins! Alright, stay right there. Stay right there. Alright, so that means we have two more left. First place. We're going to say who's first place because then that lets people know who's second place. First place goes to drumroll, please. Brady Snyder! Brady Snyder! Yeah, good. All right. But because this is a Christmas party and you won a, a free uh, registration spot to our winter retreat, but because you guys did such an awesome job and it is a Christmas party, all three of you are going to get free winter retreat spots. <laughs> all three. So way to go. And it's Proud a cause of to you. celebrate! Feliz Navidad! Feliz 
That's so good. All right, now I'm telling you what my heart needs right now more than ever is to worship because the anger I have in my heart towards Kareen <laughs> is through the roof. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to stand up, find a few people around you, welcome them to the Christmas party. Hey. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. so much. Tim loves that song so much. All right, as we, as we turn our hearts and our minds to some worship here, we're going to actually do a mashup, which is combining a couple of songs. So we're going to combine the song of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen with We Three Kings. So pay attention to words that are up on the screen. And you'll see when we switch back and forth. But enjoy this version. Yeah, camp. Woo! Woo woo! God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all. From Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, this blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings. 
let's continue to sing about that joy that the, the shepherds experienced. They were the first ones beyond Mary and Joseph, obviously. The, the shepherds experienced that incredible joy thinking of, of the good news that the angels brought to them. So let's keep singing about that. Jesus, as we think about this Advent season, 
may you be first and foremost in front of our, our hearts and our minds. God, can we rejoice in this beautiful gift that you've given to us of, of your son that was born as a baby and lived a sinless life so that he could die as a sacrifice for us to bridge the gap between, between you and us. Lord, may that be a, such a real concept to every person in this room. Lord, may, may they know that fully. May it change our lives. May it energize us and propel us forward for all that you have for us because you, God, made a way. And that is the good news of the gospel. Mm. Oh, Jesus, we love you so much and we praise your name. For you alone are worthy. And so we will give you all the glory. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Timmy? <laughs> or Josh, I'm sorry. It is Josh. All right, you guys can have a seat. It is Josh. That's what I was waiting for, was them to go, because I didn't know if they were going to start singing again. I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. I only need a few minutes, so if you'll give me your undivided attention, I would appreciate it. I don't know if you guys know this, but during the week, I lead a small marketing agency. So I, like I work in the business world. Uh, we were meeting on Tuesday, we were talking about what we want to do for the Christmas party. And um, Tim kind of laid out kind of this vision of what he was thinking. And just uh, later that day, I think, or Wednesday morning, reading an article um, in the Harvard Business Review. So Harvard, you know, they're kind of a big deal. So when they write stuff, you're like, oh, these people are thinking about stuff that's important. So this is the name of the article. It's called To See the Way Forward, Look Back. The idea was that by revisiting our founding ideas, ideals, we can help sharpen our purpose and values. Now hang with me. I'm going to read this, this from the, the article. Most business leaders focus on the future much more than they do on the past. With industries and economies changing so rapidly, executives believe that their job is to embrace disruption and innovation, transform their organizations, and explore new frontiers, not maintain the status quo. Management experts encourage such views, often regarding the past as a hindrance to innovation. However, decades of research into companies around the world has taught me that corporate history can be a strategic and motivational resource. Treated as a reference point for thought and action, it can actually drive progress. So by thinking back, it can actually drive progress into the future. In a way that provides continuity and offers stakeholders a sense of identity, pride, and responsibility as custodians or caretakers of a legacy. Organizations that understand these benefits can look back and pay homage to their histories even as they strive to move forward and beyond them. One of the companies that I personally love, because I have young men in my household who have loved this company, is Lego. Right? <laughs> Lego. Like, you think about it, when you think about Legos, when they first came out, they're kind of like these really basic building blocks, right? And they put together this kind of cool, neat little thing. Well, they had a new president take over. What he did was look back at the legacy of Lego and then think through how can we take these same values and principles and modernize Lego. So the, the idea of we want children to use their brains and their hands and play and interact with this thing, how can we moder modernize that? And now we have Star Wars Legos, right? 
I, I mean, you have the Death Star, and it comes with like 25 different minifigures. And it costs like, I don't know, $600? Huh? 800 yeah. It's beyond our vacation budget, even though we want it every year. It is so cool. But like, that's the idea. So you go, Josh, why are you reading Harvard Business Review? We're in seventh grade. Fair point. But I want you to see the idea of common grace. Do you guys know what common grace is? Anybody have an idea? Throw it out. The idea of common grace is that God shows grace to all people. Whether they know him or not, rain falls on people. So rain is an example of common grace. This, the brilliance of this article is common grace. God tells us in his word to do this all the time. Go back and remember. When we look at the Old Testament, they would travel, and as they traveled, they would leave little monuments to remember what happened, a significant thing happened in this point. So we look at this. I want us to use our past tonight as a pathway to the future as well. The, this time of year, we often look back over 2022, and in, in recent, coming weeks, you're going to hear people say New Year's resolutions, right? And they're going to look at 2022, what went well, what didn't go well, what do I want to repeat, what do I not want to repeat, I want to do this, I want to get up earlier, I want to work out, right? We make these resolutions. And before we get to those, though, I want us to go further back and consider the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Middle school, we talked about this last week, right? Remember the, the, the announcement to these shepherds? We want to talk about this announcement. And when Jesus came, it's called the incarnation, which is a kind of a big word, but it's rooted in, if you take the word apart, it's got this word in the middle, carne. Who knows Spanish? What does carne mean? Meat, flesh. Queso con carne? Right? Cheese with meat? Muy delicioso. Muy. Jesus in the flesh. God with meat. It's, it's exactly what Pastor Ryan taught on today. Jesus with skin on, coming to meet people like you and I. We look back at this beautiful baby and all his fragility, his innocence. We see these cute emojis of babies. We see, we can get lost in this moment. We hear silly songs like, Happy Birthday, Jesus. But do we forget why Jesus was born? So we want to look back at this birth. We also want to look back at this reason. One theologian, I, wanted to, I have a couple different quotes I just want us to think about. One theologian wrote this, Christ who in eternity rested motherless upon the Father's bosom and in time rested fatherless upon a woman's bosom, clasping the ancient of days who had become the infant of days. What deep descent. He came from heaven to us, from the heights of glory to the depths of shame, from the wonders of heaven to the wickedness of earth, from exaltation to humiliation, from the throne to a tree, from dignity to debasement, from worship to wrath, from the hails of heaven to the nails of earth, from the coronation to the curse, from the glory place to the gory place. In Bethlehem, humility and glory in their extremes were joined born in a stable, cradled in a cattle trough, wrapped in swaddling clothes of poverty. No room 
for him who made all rooms. No place for him who made and knows all places. Oh, the deep humiliation of the creator, born of the creature, woman. But in his descent, in his descent was the dawn of mercy. In his descent was the dawn of mercy. He descends to us. A more modern theologian writes, the incarnation, the putting on of the flesh, is the preparation of nerve endings for the nails. The incarnation is the preparation of a brow for thorns to press through. He needed to have a broad back so that there was a place for the whip. He needed to have feet so that there was a place for spikes. He needed to have a side so that there was a place for the sword to go in. He needed cheeks, fleshy cheeks, so that Judas would have a place to kiss and there would be a place for the spit to run down that the soldiers put on him. He needed a brain and a spinal cord with no vinegar and no gall so that the exquisiteness of the pain could be fully felt for you and I. So we might review the past year to look at the new year. We look back and take a, a look at Christ's coming. And we delight in that. But the reason we so delight in his coming is because we know that it brings our salvation in his death. That is exactly what Kareem prayed. It is the beauty of the gospel. The reason we worship, the reason we delight is because of what Christ has accomplished. This is the beginning. We celebrate the beginning of his end. Yet, the, also, the end is the beginning of his victory over sin and death for us in our behalf. So we consider the beauty, the grace, the mercy, the kindness, and love of God in Christ. We consider freedom and creativity to love, to serve, to do good to others. We consider the wonder of the incarnation, the work of Christ, and the worship that it causes in us. We start Christmas 2022, and then we start 2023 with joy and worship of our Christ. I pray that you guys will do that. Tip. So I just want to take a couple minutes. I'm going to pray. And then uh, I have a couple announcements. And then I want to give you a little direction of what we would love to see you guys do in life group. But pray with me real quick. God, thank you for those words that we just heard and were challenged with. Lord, we are... Um, just so grateful for what you're doing in this youth group. Um, God, we are just in awe of you during this Christmas season. God, thank you that you took on flesh, the name Emmanuel, Jesus, with us. Um, God, sometimes that's hard for me to wrap my, my brain around. Um, fully God, fully man, to come and to die in my place. Um, God, I know exactly what I deserve, what all of us in this room deserve, but the mission of Jesus was to come and save. And so this Christmas season, um, as we're already in it, and as we continue through it, may we just keep fixing our eyes on you, Lord, and not get lost in the rest of the stuff, but to be in awe of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. So Lord, we love you. Just be with us for the next few minutes before we break to go to life groups. God, I love each and every one of these teenagers so much, and we just commit the next few minutes to you. So, Jesus, we love you. Amen. Uh, really, just one announcement, and that announcement is uh, we're going to go on Christmas break, and we won't meet for two weeks, and we'll be back in here January 8th. Who is not going to school tomorrow? 
And all God's people said, Amen. That's a that's a wonderful thing. Uh, so there's that. Um, there's that. Uh, and then here's what we're gonna do. I am uh, gonna go over real quick what I want you guys to do in life groups. Um, I want everyone to look in God's Word. Um, if you've got your smartphone, just pull it out real quick. And it's 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. And, and I've just been kind of going over this verse in my own heart. Uh, in the Wadsworth household, we've been kind of going over this. Because we need to be reminded of this every day, but specifically now more than ever. Um, and I want you guys, when you go to life groups, we're going to dismiss you. You're going to grab your hole-in-ones and your chocolate milk, and we want you to take it to your, your life group rooms. But here's what, here's what this verse says. It says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Okay, let me just read that again. Beloved, let us love one another. So let me talk about something that I think could be really loving that you can do with each other as you go into Christmas break as a life group. I, I would love for you guys just to do really simple connection before you head out and just talk about um, ways that we can be praying for one another, but also ways that we can stay connected through break. I think this is really key for you guys to learn since you're in a life group. A big component of a life group is not like when Alive is on break, like you guys go on break from each other. Does that make sense? There's still ways that we can love each other even on a break, whether it's a text message or email or shooting each other messages on social media. And so I want you guys to talk about ways that we can be praying for one another and ways that we can show love to one another by praying for one another or reaching out with words of encouragement. It, it's nice when my life group reaches out to me just to see how I'm doing or keeping up with me with certain things going on in my life or ways that they can pray. So I love where it just says, Beloved, let us love one another. Love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. So... Um, I would love for everyone here, I'm going to dismiss you in a second. The band is going to play a song you've never heard before. Uh, and we want you guys to grab your dessert. And then we want you guys to go to your life group room and do just that. Okay? And we'll see you back here in two weeks. I love you guys. You are dismissed. Feliz Navidad. Woo! Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Rosé.